How's it going everyone? I'm Darren with the Muzzleloaders.com YouTube channel, your source for all things black powder. Today we're going to be talking about the difference between large rifle primers and 209 primers. But before we get started, if you haven't already, hit the like button on this video, click subscribe for more awesome black powder content, and let's get into it. So 209 primers have been the industry standard for inlines for a long time, but with the rise of Veriflame ignition and Remington 700 casings and all that stuff, we figured it was good to sit down and talk about the differences between the two ignition systems. So the main difference between the two is going to be size and temperature. Uh, the 209 primer is not going to be quite as hot as the large rifle primer and the 209 primer is also much larger than a large rifle primer. I know all that seems really confusing, but it's gonna make a whole lot of sense once we dive into each of them individually, so let's go ahead and do that. So like I said before, 209 primers have been and are currently the industry standard for most modern inlines. And the reason for that is one, they're usually readily available, two, they're very easy to use, and three, they work very well for hunting and shooting and they're gonna get the job done for 99% of muzzleloaders. They are not, however, quite as hot or precise as large rifle primers. So that's typically why you'll see your long range precision muzzleloaders like the CVA Paramount and Remington 700 use large rifle primer ignition. So like the name states, large rifle primers have been used in centerfire cartridges for many, many, many years. So rifles like your 308, 30-06, 7mm mag, those are all gonna use large rifle primers. And it's only recently that large rifle primers have burst onto the scene in muzzle loading. They've been widely popularized by the CVA Paramount and Remington 700 Ultimate Muzzle Loader. The tough thing with large rifle primers is they are a lot smaller than 209 primers. So you can see the large rifle primer versus 209 primer. Um, and that makes it much more difficult to integrate them into muzzleloader ignition systems. Thus we have the Remington 700, which uses this little casing that has a large rifle primer in the base like that and this casing would just slide into the breech plug. And we also have the Veriflame ignition, which is utilized by a lot of the CVA muzzleloaders, in which you load a large rifle primer into this little adapter, which looks very much like a 209 primer, and that allows you to use large rifle primers in a muzzleloader ignition system. One quick note on the Veriflame ignition, even though it looks like a 209 primer, they are not exactly the same, so you can't just take a Veriflame and load it into a 209 muzzleloader. There are some muzzleloaders that have conversion kits like the MRX and LRX from CVA, but other than that, if you have a 209 muzzleloader, you're probably not gonna be able to use Veriflame ignition. Now, the advantages of large rifle primer ignition in a precision long range muzzleloader is that you're able to get a very consistent and very hot ignition that is gonna ignite larger powder charges very efficiently. This is gonna allow for lower standard deviation and more accuracy at longer ranges. Now, at ranges of like 200 yards and in, you're not really gonna notice much of a difference between a large rifle primer ignition and a 209 ignition. It's those longer distances when you're trying to stretch out to 400 plus yards, like you are with the Paramount and Remington 700, is when you're gonna really start to notice the large rifle primer ignition. Both large rifle primers and 209 primers have their place in the muzzle loading world, and I'm very glad that there is an option like the large rifle primers that allows you to be very precise with these precision long range muzzle loaders. But in general, if you're using standard inline muzzle loaders, 209 primers are gonna be more than sufficient. And if you find that you're wanting something that's a little bit hotter, there are 209 Magnum options. I really appreciate you guys watching. I know we covered a lot of confusing information in this video, so if you have any questions at all, drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer, and we'll see you on the next video.